All right, I haven't made a video in a bit. Let's see. I guess I've zoomed out. Anyway, kind of painting myself into a corner. I brushed the side. I sprayed the back. But I'm still waiting for this to dry enough. I can't sand up by the windows because I was working from the ground anyway. So I might have to stop at this point. But it's going well. Let's see. Oh, uh, I sprayed the back. I think we'll dry faster. But I think all this will be ready to stain t tomorrow. Um, so, I'm going to go around the other side here. So, that's what I got done. One thing I did, as you know, there's no dent there, there is at the top. So I just got a sharpie and ran around it to give a little definition. I think it's cloudy right now, but if you notice, the top of the um, insert, of the top insert, there's naturally a shadow there. It's a real deep dark line so I'll make that top line I'll make that top line darker kind of match that give it a shadow effect but just outlining it gives a little definition um, so I gotta fix my corner here one thing is that's dented in so Pull the power, I can pull that out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? Anyway, because there's a there's a dent line right here. I could probably work that. Peel the paper up. So you know that's been painted up there. And then I put some stain on this door. It's not very smooth, but get the idea. So tomorrow, I'll get the stain around the windows, put in my inserts. Stain that. I guess I could put in the inserts. I don't know, it probably takes a day for the stain to dry. Anyway, doing everything half ass backwards. Way I do stuff and the roof. Oh, the roof typically a woody would have a you know, like a vinyl roof. I mean, basically, it was sort of like a 30s car where it was just open and like a convertible top. So, I was even thinking about like uh, undercoating or I don't know. So anyway, once I get the stuff done, I'm gonna paint the cab. It's really just a windshield frame. Uh, you know, the hood and fenders. I might have just spray bombing that. I was thinking about my missing stripes here. I could take half round molding, three strips of it, the actual wood, and stain it, glue it on there, and then up front here, I would concave it on the back side so it would kind of fit over that. It wouldn't stick up so high. That's just a thought. Little thing, too, is just get chrome strips, but yeah. Room's not what it's about. It's 
supposed to be a station wagon. So as much as I like to get up there and mess his windows off, sand that little bit of surface rust and paint that, knock that little bit of mud right there off, all that dust is gonna fall on this paint. And I have been blasting it with the heater. Yeah. It's hard to do stuff when I'm feeling the same time. Um, which will help flow this out, but got brush streaks in it. That's all right. It adds to the wood grain. So, you know, there's no way I could flash cure this. Yeah, this helps, but it's still going to be tacky for the rest of the day. It's getting dark now. So, I think that's it. More later.